Hi, Luke Fannin here from TUS Midlands, the Athlone campus, and I'm looking at how to draw a CVP chart with a break-even chart. A very simple example. All you need, all the details you need are here. Selling price per unit, variable costs per unit, fixed costs, and planned production. And from that, we can construct a chart. So let's go and do it. And before we do the chart, you need to, you need to, I suppose, have calculated three things and then we'll do the chart. So the first thing to do is do the contribution per unit. And everyone should know contribution per unit, um, assuming some level of knowledge, pre-knowledge here on this. So it's the difference between the selling price and the variable cost. So 10 minus 6 is 4. So the contribution per unit is going to be 4 euros. Now I'd show that working somewhere and I know it's very simple, but it impacts on everything else you do. So that it's very important to get the contribution per unit right because if you get it wrong, everything else is going to be wrong as well because everything else is dependent on, on, it, on, on that number. So take care on that at the start. So contribution per unit we'll look at next, four. Then the next thing to work out is the break-even point. And the break-even point is your fixed cost divided by contribution per unit. So once again, it's going to be 74,000 divided by four. So 18,500 units. So the break-even point is going to be 18,500 units, which means if this company makes 18,500 units, it will just cover all its costs. It'll cover all its variable costs and it'll cover It'll have enough left over then of seven to cover its fixed costs, but it'll make no profit. And there's two ways of looking at break-even point. One is in units, which we've just calculated, and the other is in terms of sales revenue. So when you calculate it in, in units, which we've just done, which is fixed cost divided by contribution, to give us this, we can look at it in terms of revenue. So you just multiply 18,000, the units, the break-even point, by the selling price per unit. So it'll be 185,000 units. So just make sure you've got a handle on those. You should know your formula. And if you didn't know your formula, I've listed them here. So, but I'm not going to go explaining, I think, because we assume that you covered this already. So fixed cost divided by four contribution per unit is that many units. Multiply, so I just multiply by the sales price unit gives you break even point in sales value revenue. So it's important for the graph to have calculated both it's important, sorry to put the jump, it's important to have calculated both the break-even point in units and the break-even point in sales value. And it'll always be that formula. And then whatever you get, multiply by the sales price. And you can always do a quick check that your break-even point is right. So 18,500 units multiplied by four euro contribution gives us 74,000 contribution, which will cover our fixed costs to leave a zero profit. So we know we're right there. And then and the last thing really is margin. You don't really need to do margin of safety, but I'll show it just uh, next. So margin of safety is, it's always shown on the graph. So margin of safety is always shown on the CVP graph. So to calculate it, it's the difference between your planned or budgeted production of 23,750 units and the break-even point in units, which is 18,500 units. So when we calculate it, what we're saying is, if this is our budget production, budget production can fall by 5,250 units before it makes a loss, or margin of safety at that level of production is 5,250. And I'd work that out and show your workings. Don't just show the end result, show your workings. And this is what I mean by the workings. Show that, <laughs> label it that minus that gives you that. And then if you can explain it in words, it shows you know what it means. The examiner will be very happy. Now they didn't ask for any of that. They asked for the graph. So let's jump to the graph. I'll show you the finished article first. And then we will look at how to draw it. So a CVP chart or a break-even chart 
is two axis. The y axis is the vertical axis and the x axis is the horizontal axis. The y axis is always the revenue in terms of money and the x axis here is always the units produced and depending on the question that you'll go up in intervals or steps and I'll explain why we've chosen them. And normally you fill in items such as fixed cost, total cost, revenue, you, you show the profit, you show the break-even point, you show margin of safety. So let's start it from the beginning and work through it. So that's what we'll do. So start the X, Y axis, label it revenue, the X axis, label it units. Then the steps are really put in the intervals and then plot the break even point and put in these items and go through it. So we'll go through it one by one. So draw the x axis and y axis and label them, which we've done. The x axis is the horizontal one. Here's our x axis, usually units, and the y axis is the vertical one, usually revenue and currency. So we've labeled them. So we've already calculated the break even point is 18,500 units. Our budget activity is 23,000, so we need to go up to about 25,000 units on the x-axis. So roughly that'll be five fives. So go up and try and go up in units of 5,000 units. And we just do that. So I've just put in the units there, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Our budget activity is somewhere here. Our break-even point is somewhere in between. So that's 20 there. 15 so 18,500 is break even point is somewhere around here so you can <clears throat> ideally you'd be using graph paper if not you can just be uh, use rulers and it doesn't have to be exactly correct just as long as you you show you understand it is the main thing so plot the break even point in the graph is next oh sorry to the y intervals so on the y axis our break even point in revenue is 185,000 and then budget activity by selling price is 230 so five by fifty thousand go up in intervals of fifty thousand and um that should do it so we'll show you that next so that's how i started there on that next uh our, we, is mark the break-even point which is going to be the point where eighteen thousand would mark eighteen thousand five hundred down here we're going to mark one hundred eighty five thousand break-even point in revenue break-even point in units and where they intersect on the graph that's going to be our break-even point so that's it there break-even point in units draw up break-even point in revenue 185,000 draw across so they're all worked out already and where they intersect is the break-even point so between 15 and 20,000 18,500 roughly there doesn't have to be exact mark it label it break even 18,500 units on the revenue axis between 115 200 and closer to the 200 will be 185,000 which is that multiplied by the selling price of 10 and then just go across here down here and where they intersect is the break even point and then I would just label that put in a line so we know what it is there so that's our break even point there so that's one, that's a key thing to know. And after that, then you can really do everything else fairly quickly. And it doesn't really matter then three, four, five, six, what order, you can do them in different order. But the total revenue line starts at zero and goes through at some point, our revenue will hit the break even point. So we just insert a line. Starting here, that is revenue. To get total cost, we need to put in the fixed cost first. So that's our revenue, and at some point we'll break even. Our fixed costs are 74,000 euro. So on our Y axis, our revenue axis label Find fixed costs, 74, which is before 50 and 100, so roughly halfway between. And then just draw a line straight across. 
And you don't have to be terribly exact. That's our fixed cost, and then we will label that, and maybe we'll just put it here. Is that, hopefully that's uh, parallel to that, it should be. If it's not, we'll move it up one slightly bit. Okay, so that might look a bit better, I think. So there's our fixed costs, and then we can draw our total costs. So our total costs is, starting here, it's our variable cost. So this fixed costs remain the same regardless of output, always 74,000. Variable costs will start at zero, and because they're less, then revenue will be slightly less. We're not going to show the variable costs because it doesn't matter that much to us. What matters is the total cost. So <clears throat> the total cost is our fixed cost plus the variable. So at, at zero level output, you just have 74,000 fixed cost. When you make one, you'll have fixed cost plus variable cost of one unit, which is was it, whatever it was. And so that will go up. Start there and it will go through the break-even point. And it's important to call that total cost. Now, if you call that variable cost, you'll be wrong. The variable cost, if you want to put it in, just get the same, it'll be parallel to that, and it'll start there. But I'm going to take it out in a second because I just I think it confuses things. But you have to get the total cost first before you put in the variable cost. So the total cost starts at the top, it's at the y-axis at the point the fixed costs are. And it goes from there through the break-even point. And, and then you just label that. We'll say that's a bit better. That's our total cost. And then if you want to put in the variable cost, you just draw one parallel starts at zero. That's the real cost. But I'm going to just exclude that because it just makes it a bit busy. But the only reason why it's good to put in variable cost is in case you call that variable cost, which would be wrong. It's total cost. And at that point, we've nearly everything done. So at 18,500, <coughs> you break even, which shows here our total cost matches our revenue. So at that point, no profit, no loss. Here, this is all loss, and you could label that loss if you wanted. And you would just put that there. So at this level of activity, you're making a loss, and once you get above the break-even point, you start making a profit. And the profit is here. And the only thing left to do is show the margin of safety. So our planned production was 23,750 units for the question. So you just show that here. So you mark in the budget level activity, 23,750 units. I'm just short of space here, so I mark it there. And then the difference between the break-even point of 18,500 and 23,700, that's the margin of safety. Which is how much you can afford your production to drop before you incur a loss. And that's how you do the CVP graph. Thanks for watching. The next thing we'll do is I'll give you another question and let you see can you draw a graph.